strawberries disappear from our supermarket shelves. Donald's helping you make the most of them with his delicious raspberry and white chocolate cake. Indeed You're I am. We're meant to be having a September reset. And I'm making cake. Yeah. Well, this, uh, this will definitely help your arse if you're working on a saddle arse. <laughs> you know, this is, this is something that'll get you in the mood. <laughs> so, after seeing that, this is definitely the thing that's going to take it. it away. Got it. So, Got uh, it. it's a very simple sweet bake, very easy to do. The beauty of this is it's a dump and stir recipe. So, you get your dry ingredients and you get your wet ingredients and you dump and you stir. So, very simple. Okay. I'll keep my eye on my cream here. So, we're going we're gonna to start off with our dry ingredients. We've got some self-raising flour. We've got some sugar and and I've got a little bit more baking powder because we just want to get a rise on this because it's quite a moist and dense cake. So the extra Good bit of baking powder will help. I always think it's a good sign when I see you guys tucking in. Uh, that means it's a good recipe. So we're off mm. to a flying start. Uh, salt goes in as well here. And then you're just going to whisk this just to combine and then literally just make a well in the center. So that's your dry ingredients. Coming over to our wet ingredients, we've got ricotta. Now, yeah. if you don't have ricotta, that's fine. A little bit of yogurt here is a good replacement. Really? But it gives you that moist, dense cake. And I, I mentioned at the start of the show, it's a come. A cut and come again cake because you can take a slice and you can wrap it in cling film. Stop it. And, <laughs> and uh, co cover it in cling film. It'll last for a couple of days and it'll stay moist. So that's always good. Mm, now, uh, we ricotta, we've got our eggs going in here and we're just going to whisk this alongside our melted butter. So give it a little whisk and it uh, looks a bit minging at this point now. But Three stick eggs. With it. Uh, four eggs, I think, actually. Four eggs. Right? Yes. Yeah. I have to check that again. Uh, melted butter goes in here as well. Oh, wow. And yeah, just a small amount of melted butter, you know. Uh, so once you've whisked that together, you essentially have a gorgeous little mixture that's ready to go. Uh, and that goes straight into your dry ingredients. And you've got a big old bubble going on. Oh, Jesus, right that's there. me cream. <laughs> I knew I needed to watch it. Um, so this is for our creme fraiche. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We'll just put this to a side for a moment. Yeah. This is my first day back after the summer. Give me a break, Phil, OK? You like this yesterday. <laughs> I'm just alerting you to the fact that there may soon be a fire. This is very true. This is very true. OK, so mix. Let's, let's bring it back down. Mix your dry ingredients. Calm it down. Ingredients. Do you know what? Why would you not whack all that? in a blender right from the get-go. You can absolutely do that, but I would say if you're doing it in a blender, just pulse it and do it in short bursts okay. so that you don't overmix. I know that this is a more enjoyable experience and I think we should enjoy these moments and not put it in a blender. But well, exactly. you're short of time, <laughs> You could, could you? I absolutely. Just, I'm just asking for a friend. But still, <laughs> probably put it in wet into dry and then give it a like nice pulse whiz, until whiz, you get. Whiz. Yeah, whiz, whiz, whiz. So that is essentially your mix. Now, at, at this point now, you can take it in whatever direction you have, whatever ingredients you might have to that to hand. Uh, go in with some white chocolate. Uh, raspberries is what we're doing here, and you get oh these lovely God, nuggets of white chocolate, cake. the sweetness, and then that contrast of the bit kind of tart raspberries in here as well. You could use frozen fruit if you want to. Uh, don't be caught hung up on fresh berries here. Um, that gets mixed through, and even at this point, you can see it's a luscious mixture that's absolutely gorgeous. You could add blueberries, you could add black chocolate, you could use whatever, whatever you Raspberries fancy. Raspberries and white chocolate is like mm. Magical, yeah, isn't it? It that works is a well. Very good combo. And even I would say with baking recipe like this, a little <laughs> bit of lemon zest or orange zest mm. it elevates any baked good like this. Now into a parchment uh, lined tin, we've got a spring base here, and you're going to cook this out. It's a long cook on it, so it's 50 minutes in the oven because it's a little bit more dense, mm. and you've got that kind of uh, ricotta mixture in there. But look, as you pour that in, you've got this beautiful creamy mixture. Uh, it's going to cook at 180 degrees Celsius. It's going to be beautiful. Let it cool completely, and while it's in the oven. We're going to crack on with the um, with the ganache topping with our very very hot cream yep. that I'm going to bring over here and see how this goes. So in an ideal world, in an ideal world, you wouldn't have left it on the hob and everything would still be fine at this point. But actually, it's not too bad. So we're going to get our cream into our cho white chocolate. And I've chopped this up nice and fine because essentially yeah. we're making a, a ganache topping here. So take your time with this and watch your cream as you're making it. I think that this. looks all right there, doesn't it? It I doesn't look too bad. It. Let's see how it works now in just a moment. I, thankfully, I have one that's made earlier, so we can always cut to that. And is that, that's, that's all ganache is, is it? It's Literally just, uh, melted uh, chocolate and your cream that's nice at a high temperature just to kind of uh, melt down the chocolate. And this will, this actually, you could roll this up into little truffles if you wanted. So it's a really simple recipe to learn. Burn the skin off your hands at the moment. Burn the skin off your that. hands. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I should point, after you take it out of the fridge. Good tip. <laughs> uh, so mix that up and essentially you've got a ganache. This will take a minute or two to set just in the fridge. It'll yeah. kind of firm up. And uh, I'm also going to add a little bit of creme fraiche in here as well just to give it that kind of creamy finish. So finish it off with a tiny bit of vanilla bean. If you have this, vanilla extract will do the job here. But if you have them, those vanilla pods are absolutely gorgeous. Mix that through and that is your gorgeous ganache that is going to top it's so this It's so good, cake. That, isn't it? Looks good. Really yeah. lovely. Yeah. I really Fantastic. want to stop eating it. But so we do have one that is prepared. And as it comes out of the oven, 
you have this beautiful cake. And like I said, it, it does take a little bit longer on the side, um, but once you have it, it's absolutely gorgeous. So pop out your beautiful ganache. Look how luscious that is. It's just taken about maybe five minutes in the fridge just to set up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And once you get it to this point, you can see how creamy and gorgeous it is. Finish it off with your raspberries and strawberries over the top. Do you know what's so nice? When you were talking about the vanilla bean, you yeah. can see the speckles in the thing, and that is really nice. It is it? worth it. And actually, if you can't yeah. get your hands on that vanilla bean paste, you'll get that same thing, but it's straight out of the jar, ah. and it's really easy. Guys, that is it. A raspberry ricotta cake, and it's so simple to do. Do you know my favourite bit? Which yeah. bit? Just cutting it off the back here, the crust. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, really I'm gonna try that cool. Now. Go for the back. That's because it's kind of been it's been a longer bake, so you get that kind of crunch on the side. Ooh, that I is like a really that. yummy cake. You like the look mm. of it? Would you make it? I think I will. <laughs> I do. Really? I'm actually not bad at baking now. Okay. I used to be awful, but okay. now I've seemed to be getting the knack of it slightly. Well, now now that they're back to school, you know. Yeah, we yeah. Can <laughs> give it a go. <laughs> give it a go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Good you. to see you guys. For details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our chefs, download the free this morning app.